All right, we want to get to the race for California's ninth district now. This covers most of San Joaquin County, including Stockton, Lodi, Tracy, and Manteca. Yeah, top industry there being agriculture, but also includes tech territory in the Bay Area. Democrat Josh Harder, the UC 61%, uh, beating Tom Patty as we sit here right here as the votes come in 61% to 39%. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live at Tom Patty's headquarters tonight with the very latest there, Madison. Yeah, I just talked to Tom Patty a few minutes ago, and he says he's unfazed by where the results stand right now. He described his campaign as one that's been supported by a grassroots movement and that that will show up in the next few days, he believes. A very different atmosphere just an hour ago over at Josh Harder's election headquarters where supporters there were celebrating the results. Harder told those supporters that he wants to continue the work he started when he was voted to go to D.C. back in 2019 in the 10th Congressional District. He says water and the cost of living are at top of mind for voters. And, of course, his policies, one of his solutions, get rid of the gas tax. Now, Tom Patty told me that while they didn't have the same kind of funding as his opponent, that grassroots campaign and support movement he believes will get them to the finish line. He says the redistricting helped his campaign because he's a county supervisor and the issues didn't change. These were already conversations he was having. And I asked both candidates tonight about the national implications of their race. And so it's important to make sure that even as we're fighting for San Joaquin County, even as we're fighting for the value, Valley, people understand that this is a race that has those natural consequences as well because you can have all the votes you want. If you don't actually have the power in D.C., nothing's going to happen. This is where as a county supervisor, I've addressed the issues for jobs, economic development, and for public safety. I've addressed those issues, homelessness, all the big issues that we have. I'm not worried about anything outside of my region. It's not about the party for me. Yeah, even in their answers about that, two very different answers that we heard there. And again, this race, if it goes to Patty, like supporters you can hear, believe that it will, could put power in the U.S. House of Representatives back in the hands of Republicans. Again, a lot of excitement here uh, at the Patty's campaign event. Things wrapping up at both. It was an early morning for both campaigns, I'm told, just getting out and getting those last phone calls and door knocks to voters before the polls close. So again, both say that they're going to wait to see how this shapes up in the days to come.